Hello from TreeNature.com. This is Mark Chelsea. Today is another back to old school uh, air gun video showing you how I feel, how I shoot uh, and stuff with these air guns that I have owned for quite a long time but I put them down for over one year and haven't shoot them much so some of them I forgot the feeling already, some of them is like I don't even remember, I have this gun, it's like kind of crazy, right? But yeah, when you have a lot of gun at home, you know, that's what happened. So let's take them out and have some fun. Now today, this gun I chose is a very classic one. The, the Crossman. Um, this is the Crossman 1377, that's how you say it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pump, multi-pump action, uh, not rifle, uh, Gun, okay, target gun, bolt action, like this. Okay, so, um, requires no steel to, and, but it requires labor work for pumping. Compared to the Benjamin HB22, I think, which is discontinued, uh, but I also still have, that one requires a little bit more effort when pumping. The Crossman uh, guns, like this one, and the, there's another one, the Backpacker, uh, that one is also nice and requires very little effort in caulking. So, yeah, this is the nice Yeezy pumper. Um, this one here is the Canadian version. So, it's uh, supposed to shoot lower than 500 FPS. Um, got this from Canadian Tire or something. Uh, yeah, it's it's not a very hard shooting gun out of the box. The box or the, the package say... 495 but as we all know it's not um, it's supposed to shoot usually around 300 ish to 400 max FPS depending on what pellets you use if you're using like 7.9 grains pellets like the one I have here the okay come on this is the Crossman 7.9 grains pellet now these pellets are the best deal on the market if you shoot a lot they are very cheap and they come in a big box like this 1250 counts each and is super affordable to shoot basically if you shoot with this kind of gun it lasts you for over one year shooting this thing really fun okay so this is not really upgraded but i swapped uh, one of my black grips on and also painted the script black and uh polished my barrel so you can see i once does have some love for this gun and that's why I did a lot of work for it um, yeah also did a little bit of uh, maintenance work inside with the piston and stuff so uh, it shoots a little bit better than uh, original okay so let's see how the thing works right now uh, on the target and also just a little bit comparison here now this one is upgraded okay this is the Crossman 2240 and it's supposed to be a uh, same gun but with CO2 setup and it's a little bit shorter with the barrel I upgraded it with the steel breech kit so um, it's actually quite heavy right now compared to that one this one feels way more heavy especially with my uh, scope here it's super heavy as a pistol is definitely very heavy um this thing i think is more like a uh mini hunting pistol instead of mini like mean mini um target pistol yeah it feels more like a hunting pistol for hunting small games and such like that it's definitely enough power for little birds and stuff so yeah with the scope on you know it's quite cool now the, the good thing about the uh this one the pumper is that you don't need steel to and it basically is super quiet as compared to that one that one is like it's just more fun with co2 you know you don't have to worry about pumping for each shot but the sound is much louder and you can feel when you shoot the air pops out and there's a resistant force going back like this like pushing your uh, gun back so there's kind of like a tiny kick to every shot when you fire now this one is almost like recoilless you don't feel anything so if you're into accuracy i think that these things are very nice because uh like it's almost recoilless and basically we're just shooting at target like paper and stuff so doesn't matter if it's 500 fps 600 or 800 doesn't matter okay so for paper i think it's fine um 
pretty okay. And usually I don't even pump up to the maximum power with these guns because it takes a long time to pump for just one shot and you may miss, so who cares, right? So usually I just um, pump like four shots for indoor mid-range shooting, like 20 feet, 25 feet, uh, four pumps, three pumps, more than enough. You know, you, you can see a hole right into the bullseye. That's good enough, who cares, right? <laughs> So um, today I'll be mainly shooting this one and let's test out how the sight is right now after storing it in the in the uh, cabinet for a long time. So right now I can see that it's kind of off already with the uh, marking. So let me just tighten that up. Okay, take my... Uh, where's my screwdriver? Oh, screwdriver. Screwdriver. Tighten that up a tiny bit. Okay, so basically, uh, for sure, it's not going to be super accurate today because when I toss this here and there, it just get this sight banged over all over the place. So um, let's see how this gun does on the target after you know, storing it not properly <laughs> for over one year. And yeah, let's try it out. So today we'll be shooting this gun with... The pellets that I just uh, recommended, this is the Crossman 7.9 grains Premier dome shaped pellets, and it's actually one of my favorite pellets. So, uh, let's get shooting and do some pumping. Okay, check out this. We're gonna pump and shoot. So, four, five, five pumps. Let's see how it does. On our first shot, we're gonna go back to the uh, 25 feet mark and A with our sight. So let's see. First shot. And it's a bit high and shooting to the left side. Oh, sorry, the right side. So let's uh, try to adjust a tiny bit. Now it's getting more to the uh, low part. So. I've been shooting more and basically I think that it's almost grouping back to here and it's quite dead on so only one tiny flyer went here but that was my fault the other ones were quite nice all grouping around the center and such so starting to get the hang of it from what I have experienced right now is the six pumps kind of work better than the five uh, five pump is just go <laughs> Right here, kind of low. So this six pumps and it starts to get back to the center. Maybe that's the trick. We're done with this and it's quite tiring to pump. Uh, let's keep going like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not my kind of tea like to you know sit there all day pumping, but 
I think it's a good thing to have in my collection in case like I have a free day, really free, you know, to enjoy my day and I can really sit down and with a cup of coffee and shooting pellets all day long, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's a good time killer. If you have a weekend at the backyard, you know, waiting for the BBQ to start at night, you know, you can really play with the thing all day long. It's a good time killer. Uh, but not good for when you're busy and you just want to get some shooting done, you know. I'm um, trying to aim and doing five pumps doesn't give me a nice grouping. The pilot seems to go too low. So I did uh, six pumps and it starts to go back up. So I think maybe uh, some maintenance job is required with the piston inside the seals and stuff to get it back in shape. Or maybe uh, change the piston, change the seals, stuff like that. Um, well, overall, I will think that the gun is really, really a nice gun. It's, it's very quiet. It's very quiet to the point I will say if you live in an apartment, this thing, well, you can't even hear it. Like if you go outside and try to like walk around the hallway and stuff, you can't hear the gun shooting. It's super quiet. So for everyone who is like living in a uh, apartment or a house with some very sensitive neighbors, you know, like this is the thing you want. It's not like the CO2 gun. Bang, 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 like that. No, this is like totally like. <laughs> it's even quieter than my airsoft gas, gas blow back rifle. It's like super, super quiet. So, yeah, the more, uh, the noisier part is when you go. This is noisier than the shot itself. Crazy cool. So yeah, basically that's it for today. And remember, if you want it to be quieter, use heavier pellets. I try. Heavier pellets will be better for this gun. Cool, eh? Okay, so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.